Oh. Today we're gonna <laughs> upgrade this bad boy. This is an old Toshiba laptop, about a 17 inch. And we're gonna try Chrome Flex on this. I'll tell you more, this is what's next. All right, this is gonna be a fun one. We have this old Toshiba laptop. My mom has requested a laptop. This one, this one currently runs Windows 10. And to be honest, while she can use tablets and whatnot, not too technically savvy, and I also don't want her to run Windows 10. But that being said, uh, this particular laptop here, if we go ahead and flip this over, you can see here, if I can get it right there, we'll zoom in. That's the uh, model number C75D-B7260. This was a factory reconditioned unit and it came with Windows 8.1. Let's take a look at some of the ports on this. We have a CD DVD burner player. We have a USB 2, your power, your Kensington lock. And on this side here, we have a VGA port. I believe this is a um, gigabit ethernet hdmi another usb 2.0 and then we have usb 3 and then our audio connections there and if you can see in there there is the heat sink for this particular laptop this isn't very fast let's see what the hardware is inside and honestly i love this screen it's not the best one in the world it's very glossy but look how big it is, that's my hand. And I'm barely touching onto that screen here, but yeah, it's 17 inches from diagonally. And uh, let's see if we get the CPU ID here. So we have an AMD A6 6310. Its max TDP is 15 watts, 28 nanometer technology. Uh, if we go into memory, I believe this has 16 gigs of DDR3. Graphics, looks like it's the AMD Radeon R4 graphics. Not a lot, we have one gig uh, dedicated to that uh, APU. Here's our task manager. We actually have four cores on this. The base speed is 1.8 gigahertz. And again, there is our graphics built in, the R4. It's not the speediest laptop in the world. It'll run Windows 10 okay, but its overall Geekbench score is pretty slow. Now, these aren't my scores, but you can see with the AMD A6 6310 benchmark, our single core is 227, 596. So why give this one to my mom? She's not gonna use it very much, but what she is gonna use it for is really basic tasks like web browsing and email. And with that being said, I thought that by going to Chrome Flex, if it's supported, which I hopefully it is, we're gonna find out in a few moments, uh, that this might be the better of the options that are available. Uh, she already has a Google email address, so by getting her signed into that, she'll have access to everything else. And it'll be great to hear back from her to see what you know she thinks of it. And I don't want to do that much tech support. Love you, mom, but we want to keep this as simple as possible. So during the taping of this episode, the whole process of getting Chrome OS Flex onto this USB drive was a fiasco. So I thought to do this later and uh, to actually get a screen recording of it so you could walk through yourself. Uh, the first thing is, is that when you're on the Chrome OS Flex website, just go ahead and click try Chrome OS Flex. And then for home users, just click here. Now there's information here related to certified models and so on and so forth. You can read through this, but what we want to do is go to the first step, which is create the USB installer. All right, now the steps are that we want to install Chrome S Recovery Utility first, so that requires us to go to the Chrome Web Store, and we are going to add the extension. We're going to select Add to Chrome. This is the Chromebook Recovery Utility. We're gonna click Add Extension. 
Okay, now that we have that installed, we wanna make sure the Chrome Recovery Utility Extension is turned on. So if we go to the extensions right here, and you're going to see that it is active. So there you go. And then we can get started. So let's go ahead and click get started. And we're gonna select the model from the list. And in this case, it's going to be Google Chrome OS Flex. And we're going to select just OS Flex. And then we're gonna select continue. It doesn't see a drive, so I'm gonna go ahead and we're going to insert this USB drive that we ended up using in the video. So I've plugged it in, and this may take a moment. We are going to select the drive, click continue, and then we are going to select create now. Uh, in this case, I'm on a Mac, so I'm going to say allow put in my password and it's going to start writing and due to the fact that this is a USB thumb drive, just a regular, uh, I think it's USB two, maybe three, it's gonna take a while. So you can see here, it's gonna take 33 minutes and uh, it'll put it onto the drive and then we will select continue. Well, after installing it to the USB drive and verifying, uh, we get this little success, your recovery media is ready and I can select done. And now our USB drive is ready to go. Let's continue on with the video. So while you're on this site, you can click the Try Chrome OS Flex and then you'll get a USB drive like this, plug it in, walk through the steps, get it installed, and then you're good to go. And so that's exactly what we're gonna try to do here. And zoom out a little bit. And on the side, we already have Chrome OS Flex installed on this drive. So I need to go over here to the side, plug that in, because that seems to be the only um, USB port that'll boot up off of that. I already have the laptop set up to boot up off a of USB. And if you have this laptop, it is basically function F2 to go into the boot menu on this laptop. I'll show that here in a second. If we go in, actually, I'm gonna go ahead and take the drive out. If we go restart, this back so you can see what I'm doing. Function F2, and then there you go. Basically get this screen, and basically you're gonna to go to advanced, change boot order, double click, and then set USB, you can move these up and down. So you're gonna want USB at the top, select okay. And then you're gonna save and exit. So before we do that, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the drive back in. And click yes. And now we're gonna boot in to this drive. Unfortunately, there's no light on it, so you can't see it actually doing anything. So let me come back after this is done booting up. Takes about four minutes or so to do that. That wasn't too bad. It says use your Google account on your Chromebook. Okay, we're gonna click next. And at this point we would enter our information, but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and skip straight to install Chrome OS Flex. I already have the uh, drive backed up. It will erase your entire drive. We have it currently plugged in. It says make sure your device is plugged in. Don't turn it off. An installation may take about 20 minutes. We can go through the install, but I don't think you want to sit here for 20 minutes because knowing this laptop, that's exactly about how long it's going to take. So let's come back after it's done, boot up this computer, get it set up, and then I get to take it out to my mom's this weekend. Well, honestly, I am surprised. That did not take the uh, 20 minutes that it said it was going to take. So this is going to shut down the device here in 20 seconds. It's 8 o'clock. We'll have to look at what the original time was when this thing first started. So we're about ready to shut down. I can feel the heat <laughs> over here on the side coming from that side vent. It's crazy. All right. Looks like we have shut down. I'm waiting for the lights to turn off. It's thinking about it. All right. We're powering up the device here. It's doing a lot of flashing. There we say, well, we see Chrome OS Flex. I'm waiting anticipation here. All right, we got something 
Okay, welcome to Chrome OS Flex. All right, let's go ahead and get started. There's my mouse. I'm gonna go ahead and enter my network information. We're obviously going to have this as personal use. Next. It's checking for updates. Installing the latest update. This is about 13 minutes left. Updates have been applied. And now we enter in our account information. We have the uh, review terms. Let's see what we got here. That's about it. I'm just going to go ahead and say OK. Uh, we can sync your Chrome browser bookmark history. Yep, let's go ahead and do that. Um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and let Google do that. That's fine. I'm going to use my account password. And then what are we going to use this for? We're going to just say productivity communications and I'm gonna say that's it for now so we actually have the Google AI assistant now that's cool you change the direction of your scrolling change display and text size and select light and dark I'm gonna go ahead and skip that for now and let's get started there we go we are in nice um, so you know, again, this isn't a full-blown tutorial. All I wanted to do is to see, can I get this installed on this older laptop? The answer to that question is yes. The wireless works. We have the battery indicator. Let's just do one little thing here, and we're going to do our YouTube test, and just to see what the quality of the video is using this. Let's go full screen. And right now, we're looking at, uh, it's definitely a lower resolution. It says... Oh, no, it's bumped up to 720. 720, 60. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. Can we do 1080? I'm gonna guess that this is gonna crap out here. Let's do stat for nerds. And we're going to reset this. Go ahead and play. Yeah, we're definitely dropping some frames. That's for certain. So 1080 is probably a little too much. But let's try that 720, which would be fine for my mom. And we're going to go ahead and play. And yeah, so zero drop frames. Our resolution is 1600 by 900. It's playing the 720p at 60 frames. We're still getting a couple drop frames, but again, if I go and I closed this, you know, it's going to be fine. All right, so we know that the uh, YouTube stuff is going to work. Does so this going to work for my mom? I have no clue. <laughs> I guess we're going to have to let you know later. This was just a fun video to put together. Let me go ahead and take it back to the studio for my final thoughts. <laughs> you know, overall, I found the installation of Chrome OS Flex to be straightforward. The biggest issue was determining the hotkeys to view the laptop's BIOS. That was a pain. I did sit down with my mom for a quick overview on how the operating system works. And since the quick walkthrough, I've only received one question, and it was about email. I get it. All those icons at the top, not used to that. I'm considering this a win. Overall, during the OS demonstration, the operation of the laptop was responsive and applications launched quickly, much faster compared to Windows 10. No surprise there. You know, if you have an old laptop lying around and you prefer Google's ecosystem of products, you might find Chrome OS Flex to be a useful tool. Well, that's a wrap for today. Thank you for watching, it's greatly appreciated. If you found today's topic helpful or informative, could you just take a moment and give me that thumbs up? And to be notified on when I post new content, click the subscribe and bell notification icons. In the meantime, feel free to watch one of my other videos either here or here. And until next time, I'll see you again for another episode of Hey, What's Next?